Hey guys, first of all, check out my cornrows. Check it out. Lived in it and I actually kind of freaking enjoy them so much. I'm like, oh look, I'm so dark and mysterious. Boom, punk rock. Second of all, so let me tell you guys a story. So a few days ago, I went on a walk. Here's, here's a hill. Here's my house on top. The hill isn't that big, but it's still pretty big. Sometimes I like to take a walk on my road because I live out in the country and yeah, it's just, it's a very pretty sight. And the road's kind of on a hill too. I live in Tennessee. There's a lot of hills. You can either go up towards the horse fields or you can go down towards the subdivision and on the way down to a different street where the little market is. Usually I go downhill and then make my way up on my way home. But I thought to myself, I kind of want to go visit the horses. So being in a, the country, I don't have to put my dog on a leash or at least I don't think I do. So when he comes along, he just follows right behind me. We started off, but then I noticed something as I'm walking down our hill and I noticed something at the corner of my eye and it's my sister's cat. So she follows us down the hill and I'm like, kitten, go home, go home, kitten, go home. But she would not. So I'm like, fine. I guess I'm taking my cat on a walk. She likes to rebel. We're walking up the street towards the horse fields. My dog, he's already up there being his little old fat self. I have to stand back and watch the cat because Buddy's going straight. Yes. You're getting here. No, no, come here. Come here. <laughs> Say hi to Elsie. <laughs> Oh, come on. I'll just watch. No, don't watch. Go upstairs, tell mom and dad I'll be up there in a minute, okay? Please. Fine, but I'm not going to be in the video. Mm, that's my, that's me to decide. Don't cut me. I'm not. Bye. Bye. So where was I? Matt. <laughs> Here's my dog. He's walking in a straight line. And here's me walking in a straight line. Then there's Kitten. She starts off walking in a straight line right by, like, here's me, here's her. She's walking in a straight line behind me. Then she gets distracted and goes off into the field next to us. And then gets scared, starts meowing. And I'm like, kitten, hurry up. And then she'll run to the other side of the road. I, one time I had to stop for 10 minutes trying to get her out of a bush because she was crying. And I'm like, I'm right here. The walk was supposed to be about mm, a half hour in itself. Yeah, um, it took us a half hour to just get to the horse fields because of the stupid cat. So finally, she decides to follow along, and then she gets tired, randomly, being cats. And she just lays in the middle of the street. So finally, I'm like, I'm, I don't want her getting into those horse fields, because who knows what she's gonna do. So I sneak up behind her, and I pick her up, and I hold on to her. I'm like, I'm not letting you go until we get past the horse, until we turn around and go past the horse fields on our way home. Well, I'm holding her. And she's squirming all over the place, being a little antsy person herself. Well, Buddy's way up in the front. And I notice that this beautiful, beautiful paint horse notices Buddy, starts following him along the fence, and peeks his head out from the fence when they get to the edge, and bops my dog on the butt. And my dog didn't realize this horse was following him until he got bopped on the butt. And literally, my, my dog literally jumped almost all the way across the street. So that just makes me laugh. And I'm going up to pet the horse and all of a sudden, the horse notices Kitten in my arms. And I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a cute moment. Nope. Let's just say that this week, I've had a lot of injuries happen to me. And that was one of the worst ones. Clawing at my chest, clawing at my shoulder, trying to get over me. Finally, I had to like, I held her in my arm like a baby. And I just looked over and she's <laughs> shaking actually shaking because of the horse and the horse doesn't know what it did it's the poor poor thing she's just like looking at her like nudging her trying to get her and i'm like kitten what's wrong she's just like Meow. me being the animal person i was before i kind of got an idea in my head i decided oh i'll hold her like you will hold rabbits and how you hold them is you hold them put one hand on their butt and have them sitting like this you hold them like this and their head goes like in, in the crook of your armpit, so they're like that, and I'm just petting her, holding her like that, and that seemed to calm her down a lot, so I could pet the horse as well, I'm 
doing that. After that, we went home, but before I went home, we passed the horse fields again on our way home, and I put her down, and she literally just... <laughs> I had to carry her home, too. I'm like, kitten, this is what you get for going on a walk with me. So yeah, sadly, that's the most interesting thing that's happened all week, is I took my cat for a walk and regretted it. If you didn't enjoy this um, story of mine, first of all, I'm sorry. Second of all, if you didn't enjoy it, um, I'm gonna end this with a little video that me and my sister made on Snapchat the other day. It's from my sister's Snapchat story, and it's just this um, washing machine. So here you go. So give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment below if your cat has ever done anything stupid like mine has. Um, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. So yeah, uh, I guess that's it. And I will see you guys next week.